Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of my Budget Turbo Miata build, Too Broke, Too Boosted. In today's episode, we are going to be installing RX-8 yellow injectors in my Miata. Now, these injectors will make sure that I could get the fuel that I need while the car is turboed and making boost, so it won't go lean. I'll be able to handle everything without problems, and it should be a good time with these injectors. Now, the reason I picked the RX-8 yellow injectors is because they're a fairly inexpensive injector. I got mine for $65 out of a junk car and I've seen them cheaper than that but that's what I ended up paying to get my set and these were rebuilt by a company called Restore Fuel Injectors. I would highly recommend checking them out but the budget for these was $65. That brings the total budget for this car so far to $610 out of the $1,500 cap that I'm setting for it and right now we're in pretty good shape to meet that budget. So so with that said, let's start getting into this car and replacing these fuel injectors. First thing that we need to do to go ahead and keep this car safe while we're doing this is remove the fuel pump relay. That's this black one right here. And that'll just pull out of place with a little bit of tugging. All right, try not to throw yours into your engine bay like I did with mine. Next up, we need to relieve the fuel pressure that is currently in the system. To do that, I'm gonna go ahead and crank the car over for a few seconds here. That'll get any excess pressure out of the system. And since we unplugged the fuel pump relay, no more fuel will go to the engine. All right, that's what we were expecting right there. Don't want the car to start now. And now I could go ahead and disconnect my battery and make sure there's no power running to the car. Now we need to start clearing a path to get to this fuel rail down there. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this valve here, disconnect the PCV, and just keep removing stuff until I have a little bit better access to that rail and eventually the injectors. All right, so now I've got a couple things removed here to give me some access to the fuel rail. I've got that idle up valve removed. I've got one side of this PCV valve removed. I'm probably just gonna pull off that whole thing to give me good access. And I've also got this vacuum line that runs to my fuel pressure regulator removed. So we're making good progress. Next up, I do need to disconnect these lines down here where the fuel actually flows to the fuel rail. And I'm gonna be careful with that to not drip fuel everywhere. And then we're gonna be in good shape to begin actually removing the rail from the car. All right, those lines are off. I wish I was recording my stupidity because I forgot to open up the gas tank. So I forgot to take the gas cap off. So there was still a little bit of pressure in there and it was just flowing out. So when you do this, uncap your gas tank and then you won't have that problem. But now we can move on to the next step, which is getting this fuel rail off. And like I said, these two 12 millimeters and then we'll be able to start to take that out of the way. All right, now all the injectors are unplugged here and I'm just gonna go ahead and try to remove this fuel rail. Now the lines still are attached down below so it might be a little bit tricky to pull this thing out with one hand. And there we go guys, there's the fuel rail as I drip more fuel on my car. <laughs> Good as new. All right guys, so here we go out of the car. Here are the old stock injectors for the 1.6 liter. I believe that these are 230 cc and that these new RX-8 ones are 420 or 440. Um, either way, I'm gonna look that up before I put these into the car and set up my ECU, which I'll be showing you later in the video. And now I'm gonna go ahead and swap these injectors into here. These things just pull right out of place here, just like that, as you can see. And now we're ready to put our freshly rebuilt injectors back in. Now these will go down and then pop into that little O-ring seat there. And just like that, it's installed. Also, these freshly rebuilt injectors feel a lot better going in than the other ones did coming out. They feel like they're actually cushy in there and not like the O-rings are all dried up and that's what you want. So, like I said, I got these injectors rebuilt by RestoreFuelInjectors.com and they did a really good job with them. 
All right, it's getting dark, so I've been working more than I've been filming, but I got the fuel rail back in. I've got all of those injectors locked into the fuel rail and all pressed back into the intake there. And now I'm ready to hook up the wires to all the injectors. I got my fuel pressure regulator back on there and I'm ready to start hooking everything back up and get this thing good to go. So as you probably guessed, installation is just the reverse of removal with this. And you really only need to be very careful with the O-rings and make Make sure you don't mess anything skeeter uh make sure you don't mess everything up on there so that's what i'm going to go ahead and do now if you want to see a really good guide on replacing fuel injectors on a miata the car passion channel the guy that inspired this turbo miata build has a really good video on his channel and i would highly recommend checking that out as well as checking out his view on turbo parts for everything else for this build now i'm going to go ahead and reinstall everything here i'm going to be coming back to you in the morning and i'm going to be with my computer and and we're gonna set up the ECU to run on these new injectors. So let's do it. All right, guys, it's the next day. Everything is all back together here. Those injectors did go in very hard. Um, the O-ring slash seals that were used on there were definitely really tight compared to the OEM one. So I wanna make sure that those are seated and sealed properly. But other than that, everything's back together here. I got my battery back on and I'm gonna go ahead and push this car out into the driveway and give it a shot. So like I said, I do need to tune a couple things on the computer before this car will actually run but I'll be able to prime the fuel pump, get pressure up here, and be able to take a look and see if anything's leaking. And then once it's not, and I'm sure that it's not and the car won't catch on fire, then I could go ahead and try to start it. All right, so before I even prime the car, I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up. So you need to go up here to engine constants, and this is where you're going to select your engine size and fueling type. So I'm in CCs here. Um, the engine is 1,597 cc's in a 1.6 liter Miata. And down here, we need to put the injector flow in cc's per minute. The RX-8 injectors are about 420 cc's on the forums. People tend to argue a little bit there, but that's what we're gonna go with. So the required fuel there is a 6.4. That's basically a scaling factor that helps set your fueling. Then you could go ahead and click burn and send that to your ECU. We could go ahead and close that. And the last thing that I need to set up is my injector dead time. Now this is different between a mega score and a speed we know so that's what I'm going to show you here so you need to go to your injector characteristics and then this right here is your injector dead time it says injector open time but in the description down there it says that it's dead time so we're going to go ahead and set this to 0.8 milliseconds because that once again is what people pretty much agree on on the forums that I've been reading all right time to prime the fuel pump I'm probably going to do it a couple times to make sure there's fuel to the rail and we're really going to hope that nothing leaks and that I don't need to use my nice uh, fire extinguisher mount there because that would really suck to have this thing burned down. So let's try this and make sure it doesn't leak. Didn't even hear the fuel pump prime. Oh, I'm brilliant. I didn't put the relay back and I gotta go do that. All right, now the fuel pump should prime. All right, we're started. I'm gonna turn it back off and go see if we're leaking any fuel. So far, everything looks good down there. Um, this thing does have slight leakage, but that's not fuel. That's actually some oil that was left over down there. And so far, so good. All right, guys, so it looks like no leaks. It looks like the car is running pretty well on these new injectors. So I'm gonna play around with the tune just a little bit, but that's gonna wrap up this episode. Like I said, the budget for this car is up to right around $610. So we're not doing too bad on the budget so far, and we're finally ready to start installing turbo parts so with that said if you want to see the next episode of two broke two boosted right now you could go ahead over to my patreon and see the next episode right now it's already posted um, if you like this video don't forget to like it and subscribe for more next episode we're finally going to start putting some turbo parts on this thing take care